What is up YouTube, this is Those Gaming Bros, and today I would like to talk to you guys about upcoming games I'm looking forward to. I'm going to discuss my thoughts on these games and what I think they're going to end up like. As you can see in the background, I'm playing the new Titanfall 2 tech test. However, I won't be talking about Titanfall 2 in the video, it's just simply a game that I'm playing in the background. First off, I would like to talk about Call of Duty and Battlefield's releases this year, starting off with Infinite Warfare. Now, as of this moment, I am not getting Infinite Warfare. After all, I was pretty disappointed with Black Ops 3 for multiple reasons. I will not get into all of those reasons in this video, but if you guys want to see that in another video, just let me know down in the comments below. Now my problem with these newer installments is that I feel as though they are taking more of the gunplay away in favor of more sci-fi elements, and in this is especially true for Infinite Warfare. After all, as many of you may have seen in the gameplay trailer, when you're not doing a boots on ground mission, you're in space either flying a spaceship or grappling around and using gadgets to take down your enemies. In other words, your gun is really there just to take out the stragglers that you can't necessarily reach, and that's pretty much it. As a first person shooter, the gameplay should be focused on guns and actually shooting things more than anything else. With Black Ops 3, and I'm mainly talking about the campaign here, it felt like they were more focused on the storyline, characters, and sci-fi elements than the actual gunplay. Don't get me wrong though, I love a good sci-fi game, but when I play Call of Duty, I expect a fast-paced and action-packed FPS with fun gameplay, which Black Ops 3 didn't really have. So once I saw the trailer for Infinite Warfare, it seemed as though they were moving even further away from the simple gameplay of shooting bad guys with your gun. So for this game, I'm not taking any chances, and I'm just going to wait until after to release, read what the reviews have to say, and watch some more gameplay to see if it's really worth it. However, I do have a little bit of hope for the game. It is being made by Infinity Ward, who made Ghosts. And while Ghosts wasn't necessarily a really good Call of Duty game, it did have some pretty fun game modes and some pretty good multiplayer maps. Also, zombies will be in the game, which they will hopefully do a good job on. Now enough with Infinite Warfare, let's talk about some Battlefield 1. While I'm not the biggest Battlefield fan, I'm still pretty excited for Battlefield 1. The fact that they're doing a World War 1 game is awesome, since I'm getting really tired of all these futuristic games. But the thing I like most about it is that it just looks really nice. The graphics are amazing, the menu layouts look really modern and sleek, but still go well with the World War 1 setting, and they finally added animations for getting into vehicles. I think this will be hands down the best looking game of 2016. I did sign up for the PS4 beta, so if you guys want to see gameplay for that, once it is released, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do that for you guys. This will also probably be another game I'm going to wait on and not buy once it's released, just simply because there are other games that I'd rather play, which I will get to later in the video. I would also like to wait until it gets cheaper so that I can get premium with it as well. The next two games I would like to talk about are Last Year and Friday the 13th. While I'm sure many of you have heard of Friday the 13th, I don't think you know about Last Year. They're both virtually the same game. After all, they're both online games where one player plays as the killer and the other players play as the teens trying to escape the killer. These games are also very similar to Dead by Daylight, a horror game that was just released for PC. I found it interesting that we've never really gotten any games like this before, and yet now there are three of them all releasing within the same year. I really hope this type of horror game works out because it's a pretty cool premise and I'd like to see it incorporated with other horror franchises like Alien, Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and maybe even Scream. Now, I'm only going to get one of these games, since again, they're all pretty much the same thing. So, so like with Infinite Warfare, I'm going to wait until after they release, and then read reviews and watch gameplays to determine which one I think would be the best to get. I'd love to hear your guys' opinions about these games too, so please share them down in the comments below. Now the final two games I would like to talk about are the two I've already pre-ordered and will buy once they release, Batman Return to Arkham and Batman the Telltale series, the disc version. While neither of these two games are as big as the games I've mentioned before, I saw them as must-haves since I'm a huge superhero and Batman fan. Even with all of the problems going on with Return to Arkham, I'm still very excited because it will be fun to replay both Arkham Asylum and City along with all of the DLC, which I've never played before. Batman the Telltale series I have no doubt will be good because Telltale usually does a good job with their games, like The Walking Dead for instance. Well, I think that pretty much covers it for games I'm looking forward to in 2016. Please comment with any suggestions or answers to anything I said in the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and like if you want to see more of these types of videos. Otherwise, please enjoy the rest of this uh, Titanfall 2 gameplay and I will see you in the next video.